Rudy, it was a summertime and he was in the Rogers Pass and he was going to go guide Mount Sir Donald and he had a guest up there in a bivouac and uh, he and the guest, uh, you know, had kind of getting towards bedding down for the night. So, you know, time to lie down and go to sleep and Rudy went up to check out the base of the route as he always did. And as he was coming down from the ridge on Sir Donald, he was going back to the bivouac and he was descending a boulder field and he heard a rock you know, a large rock fall and he heard a rock and he said, that one's got my name on it. And that rock slab started to slide in my legs and it hit me and threw me right down onto the snow and I just went head first down the slope and uh, I had a compound dislo uh, dislocation on my left ankle. The bone was sticking out, the foot was back on my knee and uh, it looked pretty bad and then you wow this is serious you're in trouble his client uh, got it together um, to get to his radio and get a rescue and they got Rudy out of there they came up and flew me to Ravostok and uh, in Ravostok they patched me up and flew me to uh, Kelowna but in Ravostok they wanted to give me morphine and they said well no morphine forget that and uh, so they said well you're in pain I said I'm not in pain I'll let you know when I'm in pain they said no no you're in pain I said no I'm not in pain no morphine so then uh, they put me in a helicopter and it was a nice day we overflew the Monashies and right over Monashie Park and below us was the lake and so I was laying there and the nurse beside me and I looked down and said wow hey look down this is beautiful and this moment she just about fainted. She couldn't believe that they said something like this. I guess I'm supposed to be very serious and very in pain and injured. Anyway, so we end up in Cologne and the surgeon comes and he says, well, you know, I'm not sure if you can save that food and we probably have to, I guess, cut it off. And I said, well, how about you sew it back on and then you can cut it off in three days if you still feel you should do this. And he says, well, of course, that's what we would do, but I don't think there's any hope. And I said, no, no, just sew it on. We'll be fine. The guy's a perfect skier, absolutely perfect skier. So far, never had pain. It's perfect. And in fact, that foot works better than my other one.